However, what's even more confusing than the fact that their movies have had any level of success is how much of an enigma the pair are. Hi, I'm um, Aaron Seltzer, co-writer, director, and producer of Date Movie. I'm um, Jason Friedberg, co-writer, producer, director of Date Movie. And this is our commentary. Thanks for listening. The real challenge in doing this is to do a commentary and not sound like a total tool. So we will give a shot here. Right. Probably unsuccessfully. Right. Yeah. We should talk about the credits here, actually. Yeah. It says, produced by Jason and Paul and written by us and directed by Aaron... Actually, it was it's co-directed as we started this commentary by Jason and myself, Aaron, the whole way through. He's a doctor with a 12-inch cock. This is a great, sophisticated joke. Right. And that's weird how they were, they were in different clothes, yet they just came from that scene. Yeah. So continuity wasn't, like, high on our list of things, but misogyny and violence was. Right. And yeah, this was, again, this, this movie's so stupid, so it's just the absurdity of these... Random. Random seemed funny to us. That's a, and that's a fantastic person and actor, Fred Willard, who we were shocked that actually would want to do a yeah. crappy movie like this. Well, we were shocked that anyone would want to yeah. do it. Yeah, and I don't think they knew that we had never filmed anything before as no. directors until, I think until after the movie, even though we told people that, I don't think they really cared as long as they got paid their salaries. Right. And I think he made a lot of money that day. He did. He could Yeah. Okay. Oh, shit. They'll edit that out probably, too. They'll probably edit that out. Right. But um, crack isn't right. cheap. Respected our artistic <laughs> integrity. Yeah. <laughs> Ow, I got brown around my lips. Wow. Um, and so they said, will you write, you know, a spoof of thing? And so we wrote it, like, in 20 minutes by the that Sophie Pool scene. And, and we didn't think it was very good. And it probably isn't very good. No, it's not. This is a spoof of What? When uh, hears voices. A uh, very current and fresh spoof <laughs> when did that come of out? a movie that came out about seven years ago. But that first test audience must have been really dumb because they fell for everything. They're, they, or, people clapped as though, like, you fooled us so well, we're going to clap. Yeah, dumb or high, I wasn't, I wasn't sure. Back in the diner. And Do you think anyone's still listening to this commentary? No. So why are we continuing? Like, honestly, how many people are actually still listening? I mean, who the fuck would listen to this? Your mom, my mom. No. No? no. Not even them. My mom never saw a scary movie. <laughs> Damn it. It's so stupid. I mean, like, unless you're like, you know, Scorsese or Spielberg, do then you do a commentary, Who's right? That? They're really good guys and they're really talented and they do real movies that but, but mean don't something you, but, and help society. And you want to listen to their insight. And instead, we're talking about a fucking zit joke. If, if there is someone still listening to this, this is a perfect commentary of what not to do what if, doing a commentary. when you're doing a movie and or a commentary. All we do is we keep saying how much we like the people we're working with, and we, you know we don't. No. And how talented, like, a production designer. I don't even know what the fuck that is. I don't even know what a gaffer is or grip yet. What? So I don't think it's useful at all. And any stoner who's actually trying to listen to this because they like the movie, few and far between, mind w you. We're killing their buzz. Yes. Fuck. So, I mean... It's not like you could, you can't even watch a spoof movie and listen to the commentary and laugh because it takes out all the jokes because right. all you're hearing is our stupid, whiny, Jewishy voices. Through love. Are we going back to this crap again? Uh, she remembers Sorry. all the good times she had with Adam Campbell. You don't even know the character's name, do you? Uh, what's his name again? Peter. Peter. All the good times she had with Peter. Like, even good times that we never showed you before. Like, <laughs> Why would we do that? Mm -hmm. Does anyone care about that? Would anyone know if we just didn't say that? Yeah, you're right. We just gave them a shout-out, and they're fucking deaf. Great. Great. Now we just insult the deaf people. And we lost our last two people listening to this commentary. <sighs> For fuck's sake. Okay. What did you do last night? Uh, what did I do last night? I think I watched American Idol. What did you, what'd you I do? I got a massage. You got a massage? Yeah, it was nice. Happy ending? No. Mm, not such a good massage. So, uh, 
have you booked your vacation now that uh I did. Yeah. We're going to we got High Regency. Poipu Beach. How do you pronounce it? Poipu. Poipu. Yeah, Beach. there's turtles there. You'll like it. This sounds great. Cool. Swim with the turtles. Okay, do we really have to continue? Well, I think we're being ironic. <laughs> <laughs> if you say that, it doesn't have to be funny. It could just be, uh, I don't know, what, what does that word mean? If you see a thing, he's wearing, um, it's actually a guy. He's wearing ballet slippers when he rides off because Allison uh, was wearing ballet slippers. And then about, excuse me, I'm burping. Uh, was it like two weeks later we filmed when he pulls up on the Fox back lot and the night shot. And he said, do you mind if I wear shoes because it's, I'm doing this wheelie and um, if anything happens and I have to put my feet down, my, I could grind my feet off to stumps. Mm-hmm. And so we said, no, motherfucker, you wear the slippers because that's a continuity issue and our script supervisor will freak out. Grind, grinding stumps is funny. Right. And at the end of the day, legal, legal, blah, 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 we let him wear shoes. Yeah. And I don't think anyone is looking at his feet either way. I actually think it hurt the scene because it always <laughs> takes my head out of it. But you it's know like, he's wearing shoes? He, it's, it's like it's not her on the bike and he's not wearing the same shoes. How dare they? It's like there's just not, there's well, no one's rules. One's a joke and one's just now he's wearing shoes. It's like sloppy. He, he wasn't wearing shoes before. It's, oh, I know another fun factoid. Yeah. Okay, it's not really fun. But uh, when we're shooting in downtown L.A. when he drove away in the daytime, he put his shoes on the curb, and they were stolen by a homeless person. Mm-hmm. Is that true? That is true, and if you've ever seen the— God, that's so interesting. That is interesting. So yeah. someone's actually listening to this commentary and going, thanks, fucko. I really want to know about the, the stunt guy's shoe story. <laughs> you guys are douchebags. I'm returning this DVD. Oh, shit, I broke the seal. I can't. No, you can't. Great, so now we're going to have stalkers wanting their $16 back. I like the crazy Charles Manson look on his face, personally. What do you mean? Um, Adam Campbell pretending that he's somewhat sane by this part in the shoot and not regretting signing on to this movie. And then they get to pay to see the movie and see a lesser joke. Right. Isn't that satisfying? It, well, I'll tell you what that it is. That sucks shit. It doesn't suck Why shit. Why did you because do that, we're, Jason? Because we're consistent. What we do is we, Carmen. we let you think that you're in for a lot of laughs and a good time and really a good commentary, and then you're let down. So you know where we stand at you know all what? times. It's... To teach lessons in life, the life is disappointing. It is disappointing. And you're not going to get what you pay for. No. And, uh, and, you know, that's it. There were rumors that the makers of these films didn't even see the films that they were mocking. They just saw early production pictures from the set and shouted, Make it look like that! I will say, <laughs> I, I will also say that we did film and months before their release dates. This is not a reshoot. Yes, that, we did know that's it. just showing what geniuses we are, is what you're saying. Yeah. You Got to end on a high note. Mm-hmm. We filmed that in like July and mm-hmm. came out in December. We, were, we told the studio, look, yeah. be really funny and mm-hmm. maybe a big hit, although not as maybe as big as everyone had thought six months before. And how great would that be if we could spoof it now? You know, and it'll be a month later. Oh, the movie's already the one and, and only. And Jinx, isn't that funny that we gave him credit too? That's not, yeah. I mean, it's just not even a real thing. It's a good, uh, more crap, more crap, more crap, and then eventually there's going to be another scene of and, okay, signing off? If I could talk for, like, a few more seconds, because I'm really bored by it, I'm sure they are too, but people are actually going to review our commentary, besides people not liking the movie and reviews, which is really fun. Now they're going to criticize our commentary, and it's going to be when the DVD comes out, we're going to get reviewed again saying the movie's not really funny and not good, and these guys did a terrible job, and their commentary sucks. But... Wasn't it fun, even though you were so terrible? And you know what? If you've read the review... Go fuck yourself. Yeah. You don't give a shit. How's that sound? Exactly. And now they're going to make a comment about that. So go fuck yourself twice. Yeah. So, so thank you so much. Yeah, and, and fuck really. off, too. I think that was important. But who are you saying that to? To the critics who attack us and our commentary. Rightfully so, but still. So you're saying they have a right to criticize the commentary. I'm not saying that criticism is wrong. I mean, this, is one of, lousy. this is one of the worst com- commentaries Worse ever. Worse than the movie? See, the beauty of no. all the reviewers that are actually going to listen to this, people seem to like the movie if they're really young and dumb. Yeah. And just because you're an intelligent, you know, 30, 40, 50-year-old person that writes, you know, with a pen and has things published, and, you know, yeah, fine, it's not good for you, but, you know, duh, duh, duh.